Hi, my name is Annie Kuyper. And I'm Wade Hart. And we decided to read the book, Leaders Eat Last. So Leaders Eat Last is about how leaders can affect the success of the company that they're working for, as well as the employees um, within the business. So a really great or terrible leader can um, affect individuals' mental health and work ethic. Um, uh, the author of Leaders Eat Last is Simon Sinek, and it was published in 2014. So Simon's point of view is very unique. He was in the military and Air Force, so um, that definitely gives him a unique point of view. Um, his intended audience are people within management and leadership positions, or even just people um, working in an industry, working with other people. Um, this book was created because um, Simon found a lot of new ways on how leaders should act and work with others based on his unique experiences within the military. He wanted to reveal his new findings and hidden dynamics that inspire leadership and trust with other people. The tone of the book is very conversation-like, but also educational. He's there telling us stories and teaching us um, lessons, but he's also direct, sincere, and personal. So this book was published in 2014, and some of the events uh, that were going on around the world that could have impacted Simon's uh, viewpoint in him writing this book were the Malaysia airline flight 300, 370 disappearances, uh, the negotiation on Iran's nuclear program stall, and um, Ebola strikes in West Africa. And uh, what else do you need to know to better understand the evidence in this book? Uh, many of his stories and ideas are really based and centered around uh, military ideas and how that affects businesses and leaderships. And so um, it has an inter this book has an interesting intake because he does use a lot of military references, uh, but it's all uh, in connection to leadership and uh, business strategies. So uh, some connections that I got throughout reading this book, uh, some key major players was teamwork. You know, everything evolves around teamwork and you're only as strong as uh, your weakest link. And Simon really uh, hits, uh, hits that as a key, a key factor. And, uh, you know, he really talks about control and stress and how those neg negatively correlate with each other. So that's another uh, staple that he talked on. And uh, he also talked about, you know, you know, we need to create leaders that, you know, really strive and look after those safe, positive, fulfilling work environments. And this is something uh, that I think can really be applied to, uh, you know, our generations that are that we kind of grew up in the ones that are coming up now. You know, we're used to relying on social media and those uh, online support, uh, support groups and that really uh, pushes the bias toward individualism. And so, and I would even say in, even now, today, more than ever, people are feeling more increasingly isolated. And so, uh, you know, just knowing that, you know, you can go into work in a business that where uh, you're safe and feel valued and uh, has a positive culture, you know, that's really a big, a big factor. And also in this book, he talked about, you know, taking on the challenge to become the leader, you know, that we, that we wish we had. And that's the thing. It doesn't take any talent to be a leader. And this is really important because, you know, true leaders can provide meaning. They give people the strength to really take on and endure those hardships and just building an environment where they can thrive as individuals and in groups, just exactly like how we were supposed to do. So in conclusion, uh, excuse me, in conclusions, um, the, con the biggest contribution uh, that makes uh, to make our understanding of business strategy and management is, you know, success is attributed to leadership excellence. You know, you can have the best and most effective uh, business strategy, but it will not be executed to its fullest potential if the leadership is not there. And uh, how do firms really create and sustain that strategic competitive advantage? They do that 
uh, just through leadership behavior and uh, examples being set by those leaders. You know, leaders are really the ones who run, uh, running head first into the unknown and really uh, put the well-being um, of others before themselves. And uh, you know, they would uh, never, they would never sacrifice. You know, what is theirs? What is what is their teams for? What is theirs? And that's something that you know, if that's translated all the way through uh, from top of the management all the way down, uh, I think that really has a big uh, factor in being uh, for anyone for being successful. Thank you.